God has a spiritual body has no hunger and thirst. Then how do you think so someone who is never hungry or thirsty? Therefore the devotee is out of bondage. The devotee feels so much anxiety. I want to serve Krishna. That is called art of distress. So one who is really distressed, I want to serve Krishna. Stressed. I want to serve Krishna, I must serve Krishna. Then Krishna is out of bandhu. He becomes the friend of that person who wants to serve. So that is Vaidhi Bhakti. In Vaidhi Bhakti, the devotee is serving with that real greed to serve his not He's doing without fear or in reverence. But he is serving. But the real Bhakti is there's Raghunuga Bhakti. There's two types. They do sadhana bhakti, do it to praka, ek vadi bhakti, adharajanuga. Two types of devotion. One is vidi bhakti, that is weak. It's based on logic and the control of the scriptures. But superior to that is that devotion which is performed by spontaneous devotion, pure love. When, therefore, when Ramananda suggested, the path of Vaidhi Bhakti culminating in Prem going to Vaikuntha, Mahaprabhu was satisfied. Not that Vaidhi Bhakti is rubbish, also pure and spotless, devoid of any self interest. But when that is full of Ra, then it can attract Krishna when it's full of greed. Is there anything more? Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavatamati Krita Yadikuta Pilabiti Tataroda Nikama Amala Koti Janmasikuti Narabiti Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavatamati There is another type of devotion called Vaidhanuga Bhakti that is not dependent on Shastra, that is not dependent on logic. For example, if I don't do Hari Bhajan, I'll rotate an endless cycle of birth and death. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. That's a good feeling also. Most of us, we don't even have that faith. <laughs> We're not afraid of doing things like having the success, smoking ganja, and oh, wow. That means even that Vaidhi shudder is not there. Even that fear is not there, that respect. One time, one devotee, I remember, he, she asked Bhakti Bhai, promote Puri Maharaj. I was there. Oh Maharaj, she asked something about Raghunuga Bhakti. What? You are talking to me of Raghunuga Bhakti and your stupid mind is thinking of so much of crap when you chant Harinam? This is not a symptom of Raghunuga. So, in Raghunuga Bhakti, the devotee is attracted by the sweetness of Krishna, not because he's Bhagavan. If one serves Krishna because he's Bhagavan, that is Vidibhakti, if one serves Krishna because of spontaneous attraction, that is Raghunuga. If the bridge buses, Krishna is Bhagavan or not, they don't care. Why are they serving him? Because they are attracted by his sweetness. If a Tatar Babi, Adi Madhuja, Sritana Dira Pekshita, Na Sastra, Mishara, Na Yitta, Mishara, Bhava, Uppa, Bhava, Bhava, Uppa, Tadakshan. Bhakti Rasamu, the Sindhu, Rupa Goswami has said, when the mind is not dependent on the injunctions of the scripture, mind is not controlled by logic, but rather one hearing of the sweetness of Krishna, one is spontaneously attracted to serving him, that is the symptom of uh, awakening of greed. Therefore, tata bhav adi maduja. When one hears of the sweetness of Krishna, and bhav means the way the Brijabhasis serve him with so much affection. When one hears that pram, then one gives up all other reasons for doing Krishna's bhajan and becomes attracted by his sweetness. That is a superior type of prayer. Then when Mahaprabhu heard that, he became happy. 
Is there anything more? Then Ramananda Roy described Dasiras, Sakiras, Vatsaliras, and finally Kandava, Gopibha. So I'll put them all together when one hears, for example, how the friends of Krishna are serving him. One time, Madhya Sada looked in the courtyard. She saw Krishna was on all fours like a donkey. <clears throat> on all fours, like a cow. And standing on his back was big fat Marumanga. And on Marumanga's shoulders was Subha. And they are picking mangoes. Subha will taste the mango. He passed it to Marumanga, who would eat the whole thing. And the skin and seed they were passed down to Krishna. The Madhya Sada would be shocked. I thought you boys loved my son. How you are mistreating him? And the boys would explain, No, Mother, you don't understand. Krishna is very soft. How we can put him up the top and get the mangoes? What happens if we fall? Then he will hurt himself. So we will take that risk. For him, we are going on his shoulders. And Mother, you said, Why are you eating a whole mango? Well, Mother, all mangoes are, look the same, but all mangoes are not sweet. Some are good and some are bad. We are testing. This mango is sweet, and Mother, Mother, he's the authority on Prashad. If a mother, mother says, yes, this mango is the best, then we give to Krishna. If one hears this, they are serving with such intimacy, so much affection. Why, I cannot do like that. If I want a relationship with Krishna, I will be like that. Following the footsteps of Subhal Sri Dhar, Madhu Mandal, If in the morning, every morning after milking the cows, then Krishna and the boys have exercise sessions. And boys, they're tasting, you see small boys tasting biras. And Krishna comes out. You see these guns, Subal. <laughs> Pillars of iron. They will crush you to dust. And Krishna boasting, doing some exercise. And Subal. He also comes out. Maybe Krishna, the pain of our last meeting yesterday morning, you have forgotten. These pillars of iron. And Suba and they are boasting to each other and fighting, wrestling, and Krishna is defeated. When one hears that, then one thinks, why I cannot serve like that? They never think Krishna is the Supreme Lord. They think what? What type of big guy are you? You and me are the same. Minimum equal to Krishna. And most cowboys superior to Krishna. Minimum. Minimum is equal. Not less. Therefore, sometimes the boys are fighting and arguing, the two teams are there, and Krishna's team lost. The rule is the losing team has to carry the winning team on his back, like a donkey, like a horse. And Subhal said, assume the position. <laughs> but Krishna said, this game, this game is stupid. They're not playing this game. Who made the rules anyway? I refuse to partake in this game. I am not carrying you to Mangotra. And Subhal became offended. Krishna, who do you think you are? You think you're superior to us? I'll let you know I'm two weeks older than you. <laughs> I'm stronger than you. I'm more handsome. You're proud. Your father is Nandababa, king of Braj, but your father only has 900,000 cows. My father is Vrishabhanumar, Shridhamas. My father has 11 lakh cows, 1,100,000 cows. You are not superior to me by beauty, by strength, by age, by wealth, in knowledge, by caste, nothing. Actually, your solo class, we're just doing you a favor, letting you play in our game. <laughs> so if you don't like it, get out of it. We don't want you. Get lost and go and play by yourself. And Krishna begins crying. Oh, brother, don't throw me from your game. Without you, I have nothing. I will carry you twice to the mango tree, but don't throw me. Krishna is begging. Okay. Pass. One hears. <laughs> Such intimacy they have with him. Okay. Jared Harry Shantaras is good for you, Sarah. 
one hears about sweetness, why I cannot serve like that? Such intimacy they have. Said, they sleep putting their feet on Krishna's body. Why, just like if you put your own hand on your own thigh, you don't feel disturbed. If someone else puts their hand on your thigh, then it's time to worry. The cowboys never think Krishna is separate from us. They put their own feet on Krishna's head, on his body, on his chest. They think Krishna and I are the same. We're not separate. We're not separately sisters. So one here is a greatly fortunate soul, thinks, I will serve like that, I will not serve in any other way. One greed awakens. Itam satam brahma sukam nibhutya, tasya gatanam, paladeva tena, maya svitanam, naladaiva kena, sakyam kritak, kutapunya punjaha, who can understand the good fortune of the Kaho boys. They have so much pious activity, they are the friends of the Supreme Personality Party. But who can understand them? The yogis cannot understand. They are merged in the so-called happiness of Brahmasuk in personal liberation. How they all understand the past times of the world. Dasya Katanam those who accept Krishna as the supreme omniscient Lord and offer prayers, what they can understand. Vrindavan no one prays to Krishna. In fact, Krishna has to pray to the Buddhabhasas. Every morning Krishna has to do pranam to everyone. In fact, if Krishna goes cow grazing, Madhya said, hey Krishna, come back, come back. You have not done pranam. If you don't do pranam to me, how your life will be auspicious. When Krishna does pranam, Madhya said, he blesses Now you can go. Now you'll be okay. Who will understand that? What will Hanuman do if he sees things like this? <laughs> like what Guru Maharaj would say, Twenty years ago, there was no worship of any Deva in Vrindavan. No Ganesh or this or that. There was only Radha Krishna. So who can understand the position of the coward boys? Not those in Vaikuntha, they cannot understand. Then, Mayasrita non Naladara Kena, those who were captured by the illusory potency, and they think Krishna is an ordinary boy, how they all understand the coward boy friends of Krishna. They have so much good activity, so much devotion, they are playing with him as an equal. If one hears that, I will also be like Mother Mother. I will also be like Sri Dava Subha. And in their mind, they accept the shelter of the cowboys and perform bhajan just like them. You understand? Ragatmika Mukka Hoi Brother Basita. The devotion of the eternally perfected residence, that is called Ragatmik. And of all the perfected Ragatmik devotees, the Vrijabhasis are the top ones. And one who follows their moods in this world that is called Rag Anuga. Anugamana means to follow someone. Like Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha doesn't just mean hanging around Sadhu. Sangha means Anugamana, to follow the Sadhu that is Sangha. So the person in this world, but they are always absorbed in thinking of service to Radha Krishna, following the footsteps of, for example, Rupa Manjari. That is the topmost type of bhajan. Right? So where do you find the study of that type of karma? We should find, we should surrender everything. Guru Mahārāja says, if we find like that, we should never think he's not my guru. If you find someone like that, you give your whole life to him. Then what you speak of the Nanda in your soda? And have even more affection for Krishna than the cow boys. The cow boys are playing with Krishna, the sun is hot. The boys are never thinking Krishna is thirsty, he is hungry. But Mother so she will think, because she has more affection than the cow boys. Krishna, Balaram, come for lunch. Now is very hot. Your father is waiting. Prashad is getting cold. But Krishna and Balaram absorbed in playing, they're not hearing their mother. Rohini goes, but even she cannot bring it. Then Madhya Sada goes, Okay, you guys can stay here, I don't care. Because at 12.30, the Hal Bilal ghost comes out. <laughs> Hal Bilal. And Krishna Bala, a little afraid. Mother, what is Hal Bilal? We never heard or seen of a Hal Bilal. The mother son said, yes, because anyone who sees him once, they never tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Krishnabala and Morakai, what does Halbina do? What does he look like, Mother? Then Mother Soda took her side. Halbina. <laughs> Pressing her face against the sari. Halbina. She takes small boys, puts them in her bag, and she goes and eats them. But don't worry, you stay here and play, no need to come to <laughs> Then Krishnabala, I'm weeping. Catching Maria Sada saying, Mother, please take us. You No, no, you stay here with Halbina. You don't come and they take. No, Mother, I'm there begging. Please, Mother, take us, take us. Don't leave us. How much she has controlled the Supreme Lord. She punishes him, beats him, twists his ear. When he's dirty, then Krishna comes to embrace him. Mother says, Don't touch me. Dirty boy, <laughs> you are like a pig. And Krishna says, it's true, Mother, last life I was pig. <laughs> Braha incarnation. The whole world is crying for Krishna's foot dust, and Krishna is crying for Mother, so please take you. Mother is saying, no, don't do that. I won't embrace you. And Krishna is weeping. I'm telling all sad stories. He said, how much they have controlled Krishna, you can understand. Therefore, Nanda Kinkaro Brahmana, Shreemi Vamaha Doya Yasoda Vamaha Paga Bhaga Papa Yasana Stana Mari. O king, to put up O king who can understand the good fortune of Nanda Baba. The Supreme Absolute Truth has become his son. Nanda Baba said, Son, bring my shoes. And Krishna is bringing the shoes of Nanda Baba on his head. But they're a little heavy for him, so he's not very easy for him to carry. If the Krishna, Nanda Baba chastises him, Krishna may say, Don't chastise me, Nanda Baba. And Nanda Baba will say, Sit down for a second, son. <laughs> how old are you? Five. You know how old I am? More than 55. So if anyone in this house is going to become Bhagavan, who's going to become Bhagavan first? <laughs> me. <laughs> so first I'll become Bhagavan, then you worry about becoming Bhagavan. You understand? So you can understand the good fortune of Nanda Baba. What to speak of? But Madhya Sura is more fortunate. Because Papa Yasin Stanam Hari. Sri Hari drinks her breast milk. Therefore, she is even more fortunate. See, and what to speak of the gopis? We will discuss all this in Ramananda Roy Sambad. One hears of the service of the Braja Gopis to Krishna. These four things one hears, Mahaprabhu came to give these four baths to the world. Sun, Sakya, Dasya, Sakya, Batsarya, Madhuri. But mostly, these three. The friendship mood, parental mood, and the gopis mood. Mahaprabhu came to distribute these three types especially. I remember before, people would say to Gurudev, we are not qualified for that type of bhajan. And Guruji would say, yes, you're in the wrong sampradaya. Go to South India, take initiation from the Bhagavad Because Gaudiya Bhajan, this is our Bhajan. All Gaudiyas perform Bhajan like this. So one will say, but I'm not doing that type of Bhajan. That means I'm not a Gaudiya. Actually, it's true. But even though we're doing Vaidhi Bhakti, our goal is that. So Guru Mahārāj says, our Vaidhi Bhakti and the Vidhi Bhakti of other sampradaya, there is also an ocean of difference between them also. Because our Vaidhi Bhakti is never, ever. We're not performing it to attain, attain residence in Vaikuntha, Dwarka, or Yoga. Our, our goal is judged. So, a fortunate soul who hears, then what will happen? Ta Sunan Ruddha Hoi Yer Bhagavan, Bhagavan, says. Who hears and develops that greed, that person is most fortunate. And what type of greed will awaken? according to your eternal relation with Krishna. Like you have an apple seed, a chili seed, a mango seed, and so Venice people understand the mango seed. <coughs> same water, same fertilizer, everything same, what will happen? From the apple seed, apple tree will come. From mango seed, mango seed will come. From chili seed, chili tree will come. So what will come? What relationship will come to us? According to that eternal suruk which is already there in the, our hearts. 
Guru never gives that mood that is a falsity. What is there comes out. Even Guru never gives that. In Radhakunda Babaji's they say, no, no, Guru gives Siddha Pranali, Guru give this mood. This is foolishness. Because if Guru gives, then how can we make Siddha Bhav? Because it has a beginning, you took initiation two weeks ago. Before that you did not have it. Then how are you an eternal servant of Krishna? So Bhakti Nautako rejected all these false theories. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem, Sadhya Kabunaya, Shavanada Siddha Chit, Kori Udaya. All of us have one of these eternal moods. And by hearing and chanting, it's simply awakening. So, something we can hear also of the gopis, that I leave the honor. Therefore, Prabhu Kohe Utamage Ka Raya Kohe Kanta Prabhu Sarva Sarva Sarva. Kanta Ba, Ba, the love of the Praja Gopis, that is the topmost. Nayam Sri Angu Natanta Rese Prashadam Swayoshtad Nani Naganda Lucha Kutoranya Vasotsavar Asaguja Dhamma Grihete Kanta Radhasya Nam Diyad Udagad Praja Sundarina. This verse spoken by Buddha. Why Buddha? Would have saw everything and would have cared. Then when Buddha, he was trying to explain about the love of the gopis, what did he say? Gopi Prem is like that. That's funny. You cannot explain. If you say Gopi Prem is like this, the mobile do will simply increase. <laughs> Gopi Prem is 5 kilos and it become 10 kilos. Okay, Gopi Baba is 20 kilos and immediately becomes 50 kilos. Because unlimited. How can you explain? How could Uddhav explain something which is unlimited and beyond his experience? They were Uddhav simply. What is the Gopi's prayer? The Gopi's prayer is like, like the Gopi's prayer. Nothing to compare it. They were Uddhav spoke some verses. Maya and Sri Anuruddha Tantra the Sevasha. Who can imagine the good fortune of the Braja Gopis? Maya and Sri. Lakshmi, she cannot understand. Even the damsels in the heavenly planets, they could not get the good fortune of the Braja Gopis. In the heavenly planets, the women are so attractive, it makes this universe, this world look like an orangutan. <laughs> Their bodies have the fragrance of lotus flower that grows for seven miles. The women in the heavenly planets. But even they cannot understand the good fortune of the Braja Gopis. Why? Rasasava Asibuja Dandagri Hantaka in Braja in Raslila, Krishna kept his two arms which are like serpents. Why snake? Snake is very cool. Everyone picked up a snake before? Snake is very soft and very cool. And the snake's body is tapered. So Krishna's from his strong chest and shoulders down, tapers like a snake. Also anyone who's and his fingernails like teeth. The gopis say if, you buy, if you're bitten by a snake, there's a remedy. If you're bitten by a snake, you take some anti-venom. Something which is opposed to that, you can become free from that burning sensation. But one who is bitten by the snake-like arms of Krishna, what remedy is there? There is nothing. Therefore Krishna kept both his arms around the necks of the gopis. Kudamaj gave very nice just like a drowning person. In the middle of the drowning, a person drowning in the middle of the ocean. Then a rescuer comes. How the person will catch the rescuer? Like with both hands, like this. Oh, don't leave me, don't leave me. Without you, I am drowning. So Krishna kept both his arms around the necks of the gopis. Please don't leave me. Tuhabina Kaharavas. Without you, there is no Raslila. Tuhalagi. Only Braja Ravas. Only for you I stay in Vrindavan, Krishna said to Radhika. Therefore, don't leave me, don't leave me. Did Krishna do that for the God and the heavenly damsels? No. Krishna would not even do that for Lakshmi. He would not do it for Rukmini or Satyabhama or anyone. Therefore, Lord Dasya, the God, Braja Sundaram, that good fortune was only given to the Braja Gods. So, Tesha Maruj Chori Swayaman Kakitam Pitam Maradavat Sarvi Shakshatman Matamanata 
what to speak at the end. After the gopis sang Gopi Geet, 19 verses, lamenting in separation from Krishna, Krishna appeared before them. Sukadev Goswami describes how do they appear? Tesha Mamruch Sori. Sori means Vasudev Maharaj, Chatya. Sukadev Goswami is so much absorbed in the mood of the gopis, he's also feeling that something like gopis, something is there. Then also angry at Krishna. Because of Chatya, you saw that just later here. <laughs> Chatya is very cruel. Chatya's nature, they kill even their own parents, kill their own gurus, their brothers, their cousins. So Chatya is a very cruel heart, even to their own family members. And Sukadeva so Goswami thinking, Krishna must be really Chatya, he cannot be the son of Yusuf. Why? How he could be so cruel to the gopis who are like his own limbs, his own members, his own devotees. Therefore, Krishna is very cruel. Therefore, again, when he appeared, in the midst of the gopis, smile man Krishna was very slightly smiling. Just like a criminal when you catch him. <laughs> Krishna felt I had done wrong to the gopis. How I could mistreat them and give them so much pain by giving them separation. Therefore, like when you go begging, people hold their cloth like that. Krishna holding his cloth and smiling very, very sweetly. For well, gopis I have done wrong, please forgive me. Give your anger here. Or only give me the jewel of your anger. You donate. So Krishna, when he appeared, how sweet he looked. Because he admits his defeat by the Braja Gopis. Therefore that time, he tambara drava shradvi with his pitamba wrapped around his neck. Shakshat manmata. Shakshat manmata manmata. Krishna appeared more beautiful than millions and millions of people. Like the attractor of people to himself. So, there's a Krishna Prati Upai Bahu Vidahoi for Ramananda Roy. Ramananda Roy said, There are many ways to achieve Krishna. And whatever relationship one has with Krishna, one considers that as best. Like the cowboys think, our relationship with Krishna is the top. The Bhatsaliya devotees think this is the best. Those in Dasiras, mood of servitude, think we are the best. Even those in Santa think this is the top. And the gopis also feel what we have is the best. Therefore, no devotee ever wants to change their ras, their relation with Krishna. Even if the cows may say to the soda, Oh, you want to say become like us? Mother Soda say, if you want, you can become like me. The cows would say, never. What you can make with your breast milk? Nothing. With our milk, we can make rubbery, sandesh, yogurt, anything. So every bridge of us, you think what we have is the breast milk. So, just like if you boil molasses, if you make sugar cane juice and you boil it, it becomes molasses. If you boil molasses, it becomes good. If you boil gourd, it becomes what's it called? Rock candy. If you boil rock candy, it becomes lozenges. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> In the same way, the prem becomes more thick, more thick, more thick, and more thick. But it's all the same devotion. Okay, see, finally you can. <laughs> You're not thinking me so much like I'm thinking in this case. Okay, thank you. So, as the qualities increase, in the same way, as you go through the rasas, one by one, they increase in thickness. Is there anything more than that? Now, if anyone will say there's anything more than that, all the Vedas will come and close that person's mind. There can be anything more than the love of the Braja Gopis. Why? Many things he's saying. We spend this the whole day. That book is there, Ramananda Roy, Samvad, please I beg you, you'll read it. Just so happens I have a copy here. <laughs> but you read that, Guru Maharaj, each verse of Ramananda Roy, Samvad, Guru Maharaj gave such wonderful explanations. Therefore, Krishna promises in Gita, Jai Chitam Nam Prapadente, Tamstateva Bajahamiaham, Mamabhatma Nubhatma Nusupita Sarvasya. 
According to your surrender, I do not reciprocate with everyone. They would know one has surrendered like the gopis. If a Krishna is completely and fully indebted to them, and one who does bhajan in the footsteps of the Braja gopis, then Krishna is mostly controlled by them, not by others. And of all the gopis, who is the best? Then Ramananda Roy began speaking about Radhika. What is the proof Radharani is the topmost? That proof is Rasmi. Satakoti Gopi Madhava Man Rakita Narilo Koyu Jata. Eso Eso Radhe Daki Yashav. Despite the presence of millions of gopis, when Radharani left Raslila, Krishna would not stay there. And who can imagine he chased after Radharani? And who can imagine the excellence of Radhika's position? That is proved by Sukadev Goswami. When Krishna left all the gopis and alone took Radharani to a solitary place, Aniradita Nunam Bhagavan Hariyaswara Yanno Vihira Govinda Fikriyo Ahayadurha The other gopis admitted. Oh, Aniradita Nunam. Who is this gopi? We don't know. But she must have worshipped the Supreme Lord. She must have worshipped Ishwara the most because Krishna has taken her away. Therefore, Guri, but when Mahaprabhu heard that, he was not satisfied. Because Churi Kori Dari Kaya Nila Gopi Gane Dari Anya Peksh Hoyle Prem Garata Masu. When Ramananda Roy gave proof that Radharani is the topmost because he took her secretly to a solitary place, Mahaprabhu was not satisfied. Because maybe Krishna was reliant on the other gopis. He was worried what they thought, therefore Radharani's position as the best is not completely established. Therefore Ramananda Roy gave another quote from Gid Govinda, where Krishna took Radhika in front of all the other Punjab gopis. No? Kamsara Ratri, okay, there's one verse from Gid Govinda. That is proof that Krishna, the enemy of Kamsa, he took away Radharani in the presence of the, our millions of other gopis. That is Vasantaras. Two types of Raslila. One is Govada and Vasantaras. And the other one is Sarad Purimas, Saradiya Ras, that took place in Kartik. So Spring Ras and Autumn Ras. The spring Ras is the topmost because Krishna took Radharani despite the presence of millions of gopis. He didn't care. If when Ramananda Roy just said that verse, then Mahaprabhu became satisfied. Yes, this does definitely de defines that Radharani is the topmost. Is there anything more than this? Since Krishna's lusty desires were not satisfied even in the midst of hundreds of thousands of gopis, how many gopis were in Raslila? Ten quadrillion. <laughs> Despite the presence of ten quadrillion gopis, Rasa was not so small. Krishna was not satisfied with that Radharani. Then we could imagine how qualified she was. When Mahaprabhu heard that, Mahaprabhu said, Yes, now I am attaining for that for which I came to meet you. Nevertheless, is there anything more than this? You can imagine what is in this Chaitanya Charamrita. Therefore, Guru Jaya would always say, unless you read Chaitanya Charamrita, you cannot understand the real meaning of the Shri Is there anything more than that? Kind of explain to me. And Ramananda Roy said, I don't know anymore what I'm saying. All I know is I'm the instrument and you are the player. I'm speaking what you make me speak. I do not know if I am speaking good things or bad things. I simply repeat like a parrot whatever instructions you are making me speak. Who can understand your pastimes? You inspire me within the heart and make me speak with the tongue. I do not speak, I do not know if what I am saying is good or bad. Then Ramananda Roy began discussing Krishna Suru. Then the Sarupa of Radharani, then the Sarupa of Prema, 
itself. And he began describing Radha and his names. Her 25 qualities. Her bodily ornaments, so which 16 in number. And it's from top to bottom. He described Radha and his form, the nature of Prema itself. And after describing all this, the Mahu asked, is there anything more? In Radha, Ramana, and Roy said, in the three world, there can be nothing more than this. But something is in my mind. I do not know if it is correct or incorrect. Then Pairala Agnayana Bangabela, Anudin Bala Abadinagala. So you can have to read that for yourself. When Radha Krishna are together in their most intimate meeting, then Radha is forgetting I am Radha Radha, and Krishna is forgetting I am Krishna, there is a complete melting. When Krishna begins thinking, I am Radharani, and Radharani thinks, I am Krishna. So when Ramananda Roy spoke that, then Mahaprabhu closed his mouth. <laughs> so, he said, well, Mahaprabhu closed his mouth, and how we will explain that. So Mahaprabhu said, this is the ultimate limit. Why? Because Saraswati Thakur said, why Mahaprabhu closed his mouth? Because these very exalted topics should never be discussed in public. That is one reason why he closed his mouth. Still that lesson is there. Sri Bhavan Maharaj used to say, <clears throat> just like, imagine if husband and wife were in their room together, husband and wife having their relationship, and someone was watching, and the next day the newspaper, someone put in the newspaper what you were doing last night with your wife. How would you feel? How much you would feel insulted and ashamed? In the same way when these very high topics of Radha Krishna explained, then Radha Krishna become very angry and the whole group were like right this. So for that reason, Mark would close his mouth. So we are just in a general way saying that we really have to be very, very careful. How many hundreds of times do we will say, don't make Radha Krishna naked? So for that reason, Mahaprabhu would close his mouth. So Ramananda Roy said, Yes, Sadhivastu Sadam Bina Keho Nahipai. That is the ultimate goal of life. But without practicing, you cannot achieve the goal. Therefore, how to achieve that topmost goal of the direct seva of the divine couple in the conjugal mood? And Mahaprabhu Ramananda Roy explained. Radha Krishna Lila E Ati Gurata Dasya Batsali Bhavna Hoi Gocha The conjugal pastimes of Sri Radha and Krishna cannot be understood by anyone else, not those in the mood of servitude, friendship, or parental affection. Now they sort of never think Krishna is having a relationship with the Gorja Gopas. So, Bahu Gopi Bahu Saki Bina Nahi Rasa De Vista. Saki bina hai lila, anya nahi gati, saki bhav ye ta kori anugati. Therefore, Radha Krishna had many, many gopis to assist their pastimes. And one who follows in the footsteps of those gopis serving Radha Krishna, that person can enter into those pastimes. Radha Krishna kunja seva sadhya se pai se sadhya paiti a nahi kovapai. There is no other method to achieve the service of Radha Krishna then following in the footsteps of the Braja Gopis. And how we follow in the footsteps of the Braja Gopis, it begins by hearing about them. That is called Shravan Daska. Without the help of the Gopis, no one can enter these pastimes. <coughs> Only one who worships in the ecstasy of the Gopis and following their footsteps can engage in the direct sale of Radha and Krishna. Therefore, in this world, Guru should always be seen as most confidential maid servant of Radha and Krishna. <laughs> that with that much of affection for Guru, that much the mood of Guru enters the heart of the Sadhana. So unless one has completely surrendered to Guru and has complete love and affection for Guru, how these things will ever come in the universe? Impossible. If all the gopis have come in this world in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotees. Whether Nitya Siddh or in this world doing Sadhan, same thing, same Bhav as this. One is a little more mature, one is a little mature, but both is Mithis and Baba. So in this world, one who follows Guru internally and externally, then all these things will come, otherwise will never come. 
one who's not even follows Guru's instructions in this world, when they talk about Gopi Bhav, this is like on top of your right? on top of your imagination. So Ramananda Roy going higher and higher and higher. So, then he explained about Manjari Bhav. I think it would not be inappropriate to mention a little bit here. Radha Suru Krishna Prema Kalpalata Sakigan Hoi Tal Palaputra Pala Pushpa Pafa. Who is Radharani? She is like a vine of pure love of Krishna. And the Manjaris and the maidservants are like twigs and leaves and that vine. Therefore, the Manjaris never try and have direct relationship with Krishna. Why? Everything they're getting through Radhika. Therefore, she is drinking completely Krishna's name, form, qualities, and pastimes. And the Manjaris are like leaves and twigs, they're completely connected to the trunk. Therefore, whatever Radhika feels, they also feel. Therefore, the nectar of Krishna's pastimes are sprinkled on the creeper, all the leaves experience everything. In the same way, the Manjaris never try to relate with Krishna directly, they simply serve Radhika and arrange for the meeting of Radha Krishna. The Kunjiyuna Rati Kali Siddha. Therefore they're experiencing not everything Radha Rana experiences. Who can experience that? But even one drop of that is like an ocean. So you can hear. So from top to bottom, Ramananda Roy Sambhad Mahapu and Ramananda Roy described everything. Deva Teva Gopi Bhav Koriangika Ratri Din Chinti Radha Krishna Raviha. Siddha De Chinta Kori Tara Sevam Saki Bhav Poe Radha Krishna Chari. Therefore, one must accept the mood of the gopis in their service to Krishna. And one should always meditate on the service to Radha Krishna. Siddha Deha Chinta in one's Siddha Deha, internally conceived spiritual body. One should render Radha, service to Radha Krishna within your mind as you chant the holy name. After doing that for a long time, one enters the past age of Krishna directly. Therefore, like miners, miners who are digging a hole, they're digging, digging, digging. First, they get copper, they dig more, they get iron, they dig more, they get silver. They dig more, they get gold. They dig more, they get diamonds. They dig more, they get platinum. In the same way, Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are like two miners, mining each other's heart and taking out those jewels. So how do we take out the jewels from the heart of the Vaishnavas? How? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Tatvadi Prati Patina Pari Prashna Very important. I remember Guruji, if anyone would come and Guru would ask any questions and no one would ask anything, the Guru Maharaj would always, oh, you don't want to hear anything. You don't want to hide it. You know everything. Then how do we mind from the heart of Guru Dev Vaishnava? We have to ask questions. But Guru is not just a question and answer Guru. So the question should be done with self. Means serving with love and affection. And Guru very happily give us that. Like calf. When mother sees when cow sees the calf, automatically the milk comes. You know, some people milk the calf, but the cow keeps all the milk upstairs. You know, have you noticed that? Does it milk the cow so good? Yeah. Okay. You know, the milk, then the calf is there, the mother is not giving all the milk. She's keeping it up from the other, right? And then when the calf comes, she releases the milk and the calf drinks it. So the body is not that affection, not that seva, you know, with real love. Even though seva with love and affection, then Guru will not give everything. Keep it, keep it, keep it. So, Ramananda Roy and Mahapu were digging deeper and deeper. So Mahapu asked some questions of all type of education, which is the best education. Prabhu Kohe Kohan Vidya Vidya Madhisa Raya Koya Krishna Bhaktivina Vidya Nahiya Of all type of education, which is the best. Ramana and Mahapu Sri Ramana Dorayansi. <coughs> Krishna Bhakti is the only education, there is no other education. If there are so many universities, colleges, what are they teaching? Mathematics, physics, chemistry, Spanish. Millions and millions of subjects. Where's the soul department? 
no soul department. Only Gordy Mott. Gordy Mott is soul department. They were who would come to the soul department only the PhD students? Probably said if you sell it sometimes, become hopeless. When I was flying out of this temple to come here, I was thinking, God, look at this city. And only like three or four people in this whole city are chanting home now. Come to it's sad. And probably said, don't worry, you're selling diamonds, you'll come to buy diamonds. So, what is real education? Only Krishna Bhakti's education, nothing else is education. Radha Govinda Juki. Out of all glorious activities, which is the glory, most glorious of all type of name and fame, which is the best name and fame? Kriti Gan Madhaji Kon Barakiti Krishna Bhakti Baliya Yahar Hoi Kyati. The most great, the best name and fame is the name and fame of the devotee. Sampati Madhaji Kon Sampata Gani Radha Krishna Prem Yaha Se Baradani of all type of wealth which is the greatest wealth. Krishna Prem is the greatest wealth. Duk Madhikon Duk Kon Duk Hoy Gurata Krishna Bhakti Gura Duk Niya. Of all type of suffering which is the greatest suffering. Separation from Vaishnava, there is no other suffering. Of all type of liberated persons which is the most liberated person. Mukta Madhya Konji or Mukta Kodimani. Krishna Prem Yaha Se Mukta Siddhamani. Beautiful language. Of all type of liberated souls, who is the most liberated? Who is Krishna Prem? He is the best of liberated souls. Gan Madhya Kon Gan Jeevan Nijadharma. Of all type of songs, which is the greatest song? Radha Krishna Prem Kelly. Ye Gita Marma. Those songs which describe Radha Krishna's pastime, they are the best songs. Shreya Madhya Kon Shreya Jeeva Hoi Sa Krishna Bhakti Sangha Bina Shreya Nahiya Of all type of auspicious activities which is the most auspicious There is no other auspicious activity except the association of the devotees It's pretty cool isn't it? Ka Smaranji Korebe Anuksan of all things to remember, what is that thing which you should remember every moment? Krishnam, Gunalila, Pradhan, Smaran. One should always remember Krishna's names, qualities, and pastimes. You should always remember that. You should get some tattoos now. Deya Madhya Ajiv Katavya Kon Dhyan Radha Krishna Padambuj Dhyan Pradhan. Of all type of meditation, which is the best? Meditating on the feet of Radha Krishna, that is the highest meditation. Sabatagi Jiva Kartavya Kanavas, giving up every other place of residence. Where should you live? Gravity? Where is Brajbhumi Brindavan Yahali Laras, of all places to live, the best is not Venice, or even Hollywood, or even Santa Monica. Where's the best place? Brajagumi, where Krishna performed his rasa. Of all topics to listen to, which is the best? Shravan Madhyaji Khan Shrestha Shravan, of all things to listen to, which is the topmost? Radha Krishna Prem Keri Kana Rasayan, the loving pastimes of Radha Krishna. I think all those guys who used to criticize Guru Dev never read anything like this. Even though it's true, one should speak to a qualified audience. If a high class Vaishnava speaks, then how much they are merciful, how much they are kind, the foolish persons that have taken that, they criticize, and how much they are unfortunate. Of all worshipful objects, which is the best? Upasya Mad Kon, Upasya Pradhan, Shrestha Upasya Yuga, Radha Krishna, which is the best worshipful deity? The name of Radha Krishna. What is the name of Radha Krishna? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 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 There's nothing higher than that. You get the general picture, huh? What is the destination of those? Mukti, Bukti, Vanshi, Ye, Kaha, Duhargati, Dev, Janma, Stavra, Janma, Ye, Duhargati. What is the, this is strong. What is the destination of the Buddhists? 
and what is the destination of those who desire material enjoyment? Stara deha 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 leche Those who desire material enjoyment become demigods, and Buddhists take birth as non-moving entities like stones. Mani Padmi Hum. Because their goal is non-existence, not feel anything, not think anything, no relationship with nothing, become a star. So, uh, I forget again. Then Ramananda Roy, he said, I have one doubt. Before I was seeing you as a sannyasi, now I am seeing you as Krishna, playing your flute and your eyes rolling in various ecstasy. I see you are holding a flute to your mouth, your lotus eyes are moving restlessly due to various ecstasies. I have a doubt. Who are you? You are Krishna, how you became this form as a golden sannyasi. Then Mahaprabhu, to conceal his form, Mahaprabhu said, You are pure devotee, you see Krishna everywhere. This is not surprising. Then Ramananda Roy said, Please do not cheat me. And please show me your sarup. Then Mahaprabhu showed him that sarup of. Rasaraj, Mahabhav, Tabihasi Ta Prabhu Dekela Saru, Rasaraj Mahabhav Dui Ekaru. Who is Rasaraj? That is Krishna, who is the king, the enjoyer of all these rasas. And who is Radharani? She is Madhanakya Bhav Mahi. She is the reservoir of all this bhav, means feelings towards Krishna. Krishna is the enjoyer and Radharani is the abode of all enjoyment. There's no translation. She is Rasaraj, Krishna is Rasaraj, Radharani is Madhanaki and Mahabharata. They were both things you need. For example, when Krishna entered the, rest, the wrestling arena of Kamsa, 12 types of persons saw Krishna 12 different ways. Bhav means mood. According to your mood, you perceive Krishna. According to your mood, you perceive rust, you taste rust. Understanding, everyone understanding? Try and understand. I don't understand, I'm just speaking. According to your bar, you'll taste rust. Understand? No bar, no rust. No devotion, no rust. There were those who have the bar of coward boys. How do they perceive Krishna? Coward boy. There was the bar of the gopis. How do they perceive Krishna? Keep it. Those are the bhava of Batsalya, mother and parental affection, how they perceive Krishna? My son. So according to your bhava, you taste ras. Krishna can give ras, but he cannot give bhava. Radharani can give bhava, but she cannot give ras. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can give both things because he's combined in condition. Therefore, Mahaprabhu gives everything. He gives the qualification, he also gives the ras. Therefore, who is superior to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He gives the pot, he also fills it with nectar because he can do both things. The Brahmananda Roy was saying how Krishna became that form of the golden sannyasi. Then Mahaprabhu showed him how Radha Krishna came together in his form. When Ramananda Roy saw that, he fell out of yes, How deeply all of you must read the books of Srila Gauguma. How deeply Srila Gauguma had gone to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's view. You hear what his conception of people become astonished. So I would, what he said, I would try and repeat. Why Ramananda Roy would fall unconscious seeing Radha and Krishna? No reason for him to fall unconscious. He is the Gopi Vishaka, not the first time he had seen Radha and Krishna. But he saw how Radha and Krishna had come in one form, then he fell unconscious. How Krishna melted the heart of Radharani by going to Mathura and Dwarka, putting her in the fire of separation. And when her heart was completely melted, Krishna entered inside. When Ramananda Roy saw how Krishna stole her barb and complexion, and then fell out of the We are just like parrots speaking what our group on God said. One day they bless us, we can also, like they did, we can realize something. So Ramananda Roy fell to the ground unconscious. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu touched him. And Ramananda Roy was struck with one. After embracing Ramananda Roy, the Lord pacified and said, Except for you, no one has ever seen this form of Rasaraja. But you are my devotee, therefore everything has been revealed to you. 
I cannot keep my truth hidden from my devotees. Thus Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spent 10 days and 10 nights discussing Qatar. So you can imagine what they were discussing. You can imagine. Satinandam Gora Hari Ki Jai Si Ramananda Rai Ki Jai Ramananda Rai Sambar Ki Jai Kopramadu So, let's finish here. The drum is ready. So we go for another three nights. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Of course, from that platform, where are you going to go? Also, we have to hear how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan. We'll hear that tomorrow. Wonderful pastimes. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan, what did he do? How he met Sanatan Goswami and instructed him. After coming back from Vrindavan, how he instructed Rupa Goswami. So all these, like an ocean of nectar, we'll discuss Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So please come if you can. Ah, thank you. Tomorrow day, tomorrow is the appearance day of Lord Nishingadev. So there's only a few days a year we have to fast. Ready, Casey? A few days a year. We wanted Mahaprabhu's appearance day, Krishna's appearance day, Baladev's appearance day, actually it's quite a lot, isn't it? Mahaprabhu's appearance day, Nityananda's appearance day, Vedicharya's appearance day, and Sringadev's appearance day. Ram's appearance day. The Sringadev is very, very important for us. Why? Krishna has no time for us. He's absorbed in Rasulila. I think he's going to worry about Sabhuja's and others. <laughs> he has no time. Therefore, the Sringadev is a special incarnation. <laughs> Not that you have others, I'm just... The Sringadev is a special incarnation who is here just to remove our faults. Of course, not just to remove his faults, he also has his own past hurt. But he is specially worshipped to remove the obstacles in devotion. And all of us have so, so, so many obstacles. Therefore, tomorrow I'm requesting everyone, whether you believe in God or not, you must fast. <laughs> Even if you never fast another day in your life, just fast tomorrow. Because even if you have no faith in these type of things, you'll still get a great result. We'll hear tomorrow about the glories of Prahlad Maharaj. In his last life, he was a prostitute hunter. His previous life. He was a Brahmin, but always addicted to association with a prostitute. One day he ran out of money on this tomorrow. And she rejected him. No money, no honey. So Prahlad was devastated. He went to the forest weeping. All day he did not eat, all day he did not drink, all night he did not sleep. Why? Only thinking of the prostitute. <laughs> so by accident he fasted on the Srinidev's appearance. Yeah. The next life he became the great devotee Pilat Maharaj. And 60,000 years he heard from now and we will hear all those things tomorrow. So these days are very, very important. These days are like the life and soul of devotion. So tomorrow, I'm also trying to psych myself up to it. <laughs> One should not even drink water until the Lord's appearance. Because the Lord appeared at dusk. And why he appeared at dusk, everything we'll discuss tomorrow night. So don't drink even water. Tonight brush your teeth, morning time don't brush your teeth. Tonight you brush your teeth. And all day without even one drop of water, you fast. Pregnant ladies, accept it. And those over 90, don't try and get out of it. <laughs> no. They can do it, but try and do it properly. Not Archim, who's five liters Archim. <laughs> so this means a little suffering. Guru Maharaj says Krishna's heart is so kind, so soft. You have to hold butter than it melts, but Krishna is even more kinder than that. So if he sees, for me they are suffering, for me they are fasting, for me they are giving up enjoyment, then how much Krishna will give us blessings we cannot imagine. So tomorrow try, don't try, do. It's only one day a year. 
Then we'll get the grace of Lord Nishingadev and all our obstacles will be removed. Yes? Sorry? Break fast after the program here. So after you worship Lord Nishingadev, then you break fast. So for me, if you cannot come to the temple tomorrow night, then please don't eat grains tomorrow. If you, after sunset, when you take, then follow like a cross. So what time tomorrow night does the program begin? That's a bit early. Okay, five o'clock we'll begin bhajans. Six o'clock class. Abhishek. So everyone who's never who come one time from the Shri Nesha Prince Day, really it's a really, really wonderful day. At 7.30 that we do the Abhishek of the Shri Nesha we have deity of the Shri Nesha We have. He has made his appearance. So after we bow from the Lord in Panchagavya, that means Abhishek, then we'll take that and fast. Bhagavan Nisringadev ki jai, Palad Maharaj ki jai, Gopremanande. Some new books, if people want to have a look, they can come. Krishna, everyone. This is the play of Lord Shringi In the valley of Mandara Hill, 
Hiranyakashipu was performing his austerities. He stood on the tips of his toes, with his arms stretched to the sky. An effulgent light emanated from his head. All directions were ablaze. The oceans were agitated, the mountains were trembling, and the planets were falling out of orbit. Hiranyakashipu desired to become immortal. He wanted not to be conquered by anyone and to have no equal. The demigods were so disturbed by Hiranyakashipu's penance that they pleaded to Lord Brahma to appease Hiranyakashipu. Lord Brahma descended on a swan airplane in search of him. Hiranyakashipu's body was found eaten by ants and worms with only his bones holding his life airs. Lord Brahma sprinkled holy water from his kamandalu onto him and Hiranyakashipu emerged with a young body glowing like a lightning bolt. Rise. My Lord of the universe, Lord, allow me to see such a time. Your severe <laughs> austerity is I want Bob, and I want Russ. Let me not meet death by any of the living entities that have been created by you. I don't want to die inside, and I don't want to die outside. I don't want to die in the day, or I don't want to die in the night. I don't want to die in the ground, or in the air. I don't want to die. I don't want to die on any month or by any weapons. And I don't want to die by any man. I don't want to die by any beast or by any dirty gods. I don't want to die by any gods. Grant me. Grant me. All mystic powers, give me, give me soul, Lordship. Overall, these benedictions you ask for are very rare. <laughs> I shall give them to you today. years I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I finally did it! I am immortal! I am God! <laughs> Hiranya Kashipu rapidly conquered all the planets in the three worlds. He brought all rulers under his control and seized all possible power and influence. Now living in the palace of Lord Indra, the king of heaven, Hiranyakashipu seemed unconquerable. Wine, you 
see if one messes up with your mind. Well, he probably understood that. <laughs> Prahlad was no ordinary boy, and certainly not of demoniac nature like his father. He was a pure devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, who was his father's sworn enemy. Prahlad would constantly absorb himself in remembering his Lord and follow the instructions of his spiritual master, Radha Muni. Oh, best of the demons, I have learned that anyone who accepts this temporary body or this temporary household life is embarrassed by anxiety, having fallen in a pit that is full of suffering. One must give up this position and go to the forest of Vrindavan, where Krishna consciousness is permanent, <laughs> and take shelter of the supreme personality of God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Son, 
Huh? So what are we going to do with that? We are going to teach them. We are going to teach them how to be an excellent cheater. Excellent, excellent, listen, wait. Excellent diplomat. And you want to lie in front of somebody and they will not know that you are lying. And what else we are going to teach them? We are going to be, make him Again, having thought they had sufficiently educated him, Sande and Amarka take Palat to his father, decorated beautifully. But of course, being a devotee of the Lord, his conviction was unmovable. Oh my Lord, he never got you booky, Heat 
throwing heavy stones at him. Prahlad remained unharmed, for he was constantly remembering his Lord. types of sense gratification. Prahlad listened quietly, but was situated above such instruction. Their knowledge was based on duality, based on the materialistic life of birth, death, old age, and disease. When the teachers went home for the day, the children of the school came out to play. Vishnu, what will happen to them? 
Consort could not appease him. Only his dear devotee Prahlad could pacify him with his prayers. Prahlad, dearest, I am very pleased with you. Please ask of me any benediction. My dear Lord, I do not ask for any benediction. Only that lifetime after lifetime, I always remember the words. My dearest Prahlad, you never desire any kind of material enjoyment. And therefore, I order you to enjoy the opulence of the, de of the demons acting as their king. All I ask for is that my father, who has committed unlimited sins and offenses, that you absolve him from his sins and please forgive him. Prahlad, dearest, there is no need to tell. You are a pure devotee. And therefore, generations upon generations have become liberated. Even by the touch of my body, he has become completely purified. Please ask for another benediction. Those who are liberated only think of the liberation of themselves. Yet, I don't want to be liberated alone. I ask that I take all the sins of everyone and so that they may also be happy in Krishna consciousness. I am very much pleased with you, Papa. It is my pastime to fulfill the desires of all living beings. 
May you live a long time. It is not possible for me to fulfill this. One must perform devotion unto me to attain this bhakti. It cannot be forced. But one who always remembers your activities and my activities also, and who chants the prayers you have offered, becomes free in due course of time from all reactions. Nisringa Bhagavan Ki Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. 